All right, welcome back. The next section uh, that we'll be talking about is some of your other social engineering tools. Uh, one interesting uh, category of tools really is called Google Hacking. Google has created a fantastic search engine and they've got these advanced operators which allow you to narrow down your search results considerably so that if you're looking for information about a target, about an organization, about the technology they use, whatever your goals might be, you can use these Google hacking techniques to give you the answer more quickly without having to sort through a bunch of noise that you don't really care about. Uh, you can do some of these things with other search engines like Yahoo, for instance. You have your Boolean support and or not. These are things that are supported. But more interestingly is the operators that let you specifically search for certain types of information. So we use this, this syntax. For instance, we've got the the link command. You use link with a colon and you put some text after this and this shows you pages that have a particular link present. You can also search for things that are inside of a cache. So if the, the, the cache might hold the content of a web page that's no longer uh, being posted on the live website. So that could be really useful. Uh, you can also go to th something like archive.org, uh, also known as the Wayback Machine. On archive.org, you can find older copies of a website that might contain information that has subsequently been removed. So it's another, another great tip. Anyway, uh, we can find related links. So use the related operator with a colon, and you can find, uh, based on your search text, links that are related to what you're looking for. And if you really want to get a lot of good information, go to exploitdb.com and go to the Google Dorks section. Uh, you can also go to hackersforcharity.org. That's the Google Hacking Database. It has quite a bit of good information in it. So for the next uh, series of demos, I will demonstrate uh, Google Hacking techniques. Well, I'll go through some different scenarios showing you how you can get uh, the information that you need more quickly. Uh, it, it saves a lot of time instead of sorting through huge lists of information trying to decide what's important. We'll also look at a great tool called Multigo. Multigo lets you gather information about an organization and then make connections between different pieces of that information in order to narrow things down, in order to find something truly useful to the social engineering audit or pen test. And then lastly, we'll uh, do a demo of Recon NG. Uh, Multigo and Recon NG are very powerful uh, tools, or, or Recon NG is actually a framework, but in both cases, I'm only going to show you a few of the features and leave it up to you to, to take it from there. There's quite a bit more that you can learn, and these tools uh, can keep you busy for quite a while in your information gathering efforts.